What we have behind me here is a cook system. So two Y uprights with a cross member and uh, it requires hangers. So we actually hang our pots on these hangers at different heights. You can use multiple pots. So this is a great setup if you have a camp with multiple people in. Today, what we're gonna look at though is how to make an alternative hanging system because I've showed several of these in the past, but this is a new way to do it. Now for this project, you're going to need, of course, a branch, but this branch is a little bit different than the normal just Y branch that we talk about all the time. Of course, the bottom section we want a Y. So this is two ends. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna snap off both of those. I can let them both on. It's not gonna hurt anything. And that just gives me availability about an inch higher when I hang my pot with this. So this bottom section is where we're hanging our pot. Okay, I think we all know that by this point of how that works. The difference here is the top section. So as I come up, you see there's another Y. I don't want a straight stick, I want a Y branch and there's a specific reason for that. The reason for that is, is it's gonna give it structural strength in here, that Y. Now it sounds like, how's that work? But because of that, this one branch, okay, normally one of the two is gonna bend down much easier. And we're actually, when we do this, let me clean this off a little bit for everybody. When we do this, we're gonna bend this branch around and we're going to tie this off right here, making a loop. Then we can cut this top section free. So I have a piece of cordage right here and all that I'm going to do is wrap this around one or two times and pull it tight, creating that loop. And that loop is what's going to hang across the cross member on our cook kitchen. So it's really easy. So you can see right now, I created that loop. I can come in with my knife right here, cut that top section off. Now, this loop can go onto my cook kitchen. So I'm gonna move over my other hanging devices and I can hang this here. And now we have a new pot hanger built very quickly, very easily. And now you can see our gallow crook is complete. So we have another pot hanger for our system. Now, once we hang our pot on here, you can see that that's lower compared to something like this is a little bit higher. And then our string over here is the highest. So ultimately with a system like this, you really want multiple hangers. Being able to make different styles lends well to the environment, depending on where you're at and what you're doing. You might find a branch like this that's nice and short, and then you might need to make one that's longer. So having the availability to do this is gonna be in your best interest all the time. So that is a very easy way to make this. So I hope you enjoyed this on how to make this type of pot hanger. I know this bushcraft stuff is my favorite. I love being able to make things from the environment out here and then actually utilize them in real situations. So this is just something I wanted to share with everybody. I've done it a few times, but I thought it's time to share it. In the future, I'm gonna show you some more setups and different ways you can also do this. So as always, this is Dan Wolak with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. Check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods.